Hi dear cricket fans, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. Uh, well, unfortunately I have not been able to really do justice to Cricket Happenings, I know that, but when, unfortunately I have been having a lot of guests at home and uh, I, I, would have not, I am not able to go the real a whole hog I would say. Do apologize for that dear cricket fans, subscribers and friends. And well, uh, to, so what I am going to do is I am not going to give you a full report, basically I am going to cover two matches today. Uh, basically going to give you a roundup of the both the matches. Uh, one was a match between uh, New Zealand and Sri Lanka in the Micro Max Cup at uh, Dumbula in Sri Lanka and the Tri Series, where the, both the points, uh, both the teams actually shared points. Well, as you know, yesterday the, uh, there was uh, no ball was being bowled and the match was abandoned because of rain. And today again, rain played the spoiled sport. Uh, but uh, looking at the scores there, um, brief scores there. In fact, Sri Lanka was the only batsman who actually uh, could actually take. Uh, I mean, they made first use of the wicket. Uh, it was a no result match, uh, unfortunately, and they shared the points. So two points each to New Zealand, Sri Lanka. I thought Sri Lanka were the lucky ones there, and so New Zealand do choose to field. And well, as far as Sri Lanka were concerned, they put a 203 for three on the board. Uh, Upal Thanga was uh, very, very cheaply dismissed by Tuffy, caught by Mills, bowled Tuffy, 12 of 23 balls with two fours. Uh, Dilshan uh, really showed some aggression, and one of the overs from Kai Mills, he flayed him for five boundaries. Uh, the two were of pulls and four were just played around the offside and Tilgan Dilshan played a very good hand 44 52 balls eight fours uh, Kumar Sangakura well uh, he, he he made a bit of 40 runs there were some good uh, sizable contributions from all the Sri Lankan batsmen uh, Kumar Sangakura made 40 59 balls with four fours victim of uh, stardust uh, Mahela Jayavadan was not out on 59 of 72 balls with four fours and one six and uh, Chamar Silva impressed there not out on 41 they were 131 for three, and then uh, it was Jayavardhan and Chandra Silva who actually uh, took them to relative safety there. 203 for three in the 44th over when uh, play was called off uh, because of uh, rain. As you know, it was a day night encounter. Uh, so Chandra Silva was not out on 41 of 57 balls, four points, one. So it was good to see Chandra Silva get amongst the runs uh, because it was quite a long time. He actually made a comeback to the Sri Lankan team and uh, really made a nice presence felt there. And uh, he made uh, 41 of 57 balls with uh, four fours. Uh, and 1-6. Uh, Mahila Jayavardhan was now a 59 of uh, 72 balls with 4 fours and 1-6 uh, and 203 for uh, 3 on the board after 44 overs uh, for uh, Sri Lanka. As far as uh, New Zealand were concerned, uh, well, well, there was some controversy. Kyle Mills actually uh, took the practice ball and actually it was the 39th over when he was actually handed over the ball and he actually uh, tried, uh, mm, uh, he just pitched it at the popping crease, which is uh, around to the cricket law 17.1 as it states there. It says uh, it's a violation. The umpires immediately uh, have uh, given a ban of 30 minutes for Kyle Mills. Kyle Mills, uh, Miles couldn't, couldn't actually bowl for 30 minutes. Well, this is something surprising. So a lot of controversy is happening. Uh, unfortunately, maybe the cricketers are not aware of the rules. You never know. Uh, so Kyle Mills, fires one, one for 30. Tuffy Ada was no one for 51. Jagaburam um, nine overs no made none for 26. Well, let me tell you, the screws were applied by Scott Stardis and uh, Jacob Oram, who actually uh, had those, de th th those uh, what do you call, uh, slower deliveries that they were balling because the ball was coming, uh, it was not so easy to bat on the ball coming uh, as slow as possible. The batsman found it all the more difficult. And Jacob Oram was uh, good figures nine overs no made none for 26. Scott Stardis ten overs no made for 30. Very impressive figures returned. Nathan McClellan 5.4 overs no made for 40. He was uh, really uh, taken apart, I would say, by the Sri Lankan batsman there. Kane Williamson balled impressive six overs for 17 runs. So that was that, and um, that was that. As Sri Lanka versus New Zealand, the match was gone. No result in this match played at the Rangiri Dambula International Stadium in Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, well, two points were shared. And uh, well, Sri Lanka versus India at Dambula on the 22nd. So we have another, uh, say, uh, 22nd. Uh, 22nd should be a Sunday. So it should be a holiday crowd there in Sri Lanka, India versus New Zealand on 22nd of August. So that is what it is. So now I move on to the dip next match and I don't have much time. So basically uh, I'm going to the next match and that is the most interesting aspect which is happening. Uh, third day's play has just has ended uh, at the end of third day's play. Uh, England, uh, as you know, just to recap what happened, uh, uh, Pakistan yesterday replied with 308 and a very m magnificent uh, 92 not out uh, uh, fr from Azhar Ali, who showed signs of aggression, 173 born 15 for was a different sort of player. A good contribution coming in from uh, Mohamed Yusuf with his uh, 56 yesterday. Uh, other than that, uh, Umar Akmal contributed 38 and then there was not uh, much of a resistance. 
uh, it was only Azhar Ali who actually was the backbone of this uh, uh, particular Pakistan innings but he played a good hand and uh, showed what he's capable of 308 all out in reply to Pakistan's uh, England's uh, 233 here at the Oval in the third empowered test match there uh, it was the third day's play 308 all out uh, and well Pakistan got a 75 run lead and the best wicket taker there was uh, Graham Swan 27.2 was 9 minutes 68 runs and 4 wickets and this was something which happened yesterday dear cricket fans but today England resumed at the overnight score uh, and as you know they lost uh, Strauss yesterday they are already lost Strauss to Mohamed Amir yesterday but today's uh, feature uh, was Alistair Cook Alistair Cook initially uh, started off very confidently by flicking Amir for a boundary and the way he played it was absolutely superb today a stroke just cascaded he flowed the strokes really flowed he yes he had some edgy uh, moments there but uh, really after that the strokes really flowed in fact uh, Andrew Strauss was the one uh, in fact Alistair Cook really won a personal battle because uh, it was a long time coming and finally Alistair Cook made it count uh, with uh, 110 of 173 balls with 17 fours uh, and other than that well the night one when Anderson was uh, dismissed by Ajman for 11 in fact it was uh, uh, it was Mohammed Amir and uh, Said Anwar actually sharing the wickets today with 18.2 overs 5 made and 51 runs and 4 wickets for Mohammed Amir Said Ajman 31 overs 7 made and 71 runs and 4 wickets Anderson uh, the night one was dismissed for 11 by Said Ajman uh, Jonathan Trott um, well potted around I would say I was uh, really uh, giving good support to Cook but uh, well he really uh, try to stay at the crease there if you see his innings he made 36 of 130 balls with just more boundaries it was caught as early bowled by Mohamed Amir for 36 and uh, the uh, the the ball that he bowled was a very good one which actually uh, pitched up and straightened up and Jonathan Trout was uh, really caught in no man's land there and Alistair Cook contributed a very wonderful 110 as I said his strokes really flowed from his blade today of 173 balls, 17 fours. He was a victim of Wahab Riyaz. Now, Wahab Riyaz, as you know, on his debut, he took part 63. But in the second innings, he was a bit off color. Eight overs, one made, and one for 40. Uh, he returned figures. Other than that, uh, Peterson was uh, clean bowled by Saeed Ajmal for 23 of 45 balls with five fours. So, it was a very aggressive 23 from uh, Kevin Peterson. Other than that, there was a real collapse for the next uh, 26 runs. They even Kevin Peterson. Uh, actually when it was 194 and after that it was a uh, collapse for England because uh, they were 221 for 9 at the close uh, with uh, Mohamed Amir and Saeed Ajman really getting amongst the wickets with uh, dismissing Paul Collingwood for 3 Mohamed Amir uh, Ian Morgan was uh, clean bowled by Saeed Ajman for 5 Matt Pryor was caught behind of the bowling of Mohamed Amir for 5 Graham Swan was bowled by Saeed Ajman for 6 of 21 balls with 1-4 um, currently 221 for 9 well, England are just 146 runs ahead. Stuart Broad is not out on six at close. Stuart says uh, Steve Finn is not out on not. 221 for nine uh, is the score on the board uh, for uh, England at the end of the third day's play in the third end power test between Pakistan and England at the Oval here. 221 for nine, 146 ahead. The bowling figures 18.2 overs, 5 millions, 4 for 50, 1 for Mohamed Amir. Mohamed Afi 16 over 7 million, 1 for 45. Wahab Riyaz has already spoken about his side that won 31 over 7 and 71 runs and 4 balls. We get to the ball very well. Imran Farhad bowled 3 overs for 9 runs. Wahab Riyaz uh, today couldn't uh, uh, really uh, show, I mean, he couldn't uh, get make the uh, same impression that he created uh, on the first day when he actually picked up 5 wickets. But let me tell you, uh, today Wahab Riyaz should be really thanked uh, for his first innings effort because of his first innings effort only. Uh, today we see that. Um, uh, Pakistan actually got a 75 run lead by restricting in 233 and now uh, well it looks like uh, Pakistan are very much into it but uh, well 146 there's one more wicket to go and I'm sure uh, Pakistan would be just uh, uh, hoping that uh, they actually pick up the tail tomorrow because it's only uh, it's uh, Stuart Brown and Finn but Stuart Brown definitely showed uh, as you know he's a he, uh, of late he has uh, really developed into a very good all-rounder you could expect him to uh, really uh, I mean stay put there because uh, Steve Finn could uh, Steve Finn has already shown that he can just you know nudge around and uh, you know just block the ball so if you could do that and then she would God would uh, really go on for good score so he maybe uh, they could push on the score to 175 and give sort of a target uh, where uh, one advantage that England would have is if there are going to going to be con conditions like cloudy conditions overcast conditions uh, they could actually take advantage of that and also the spinners uh, with the footmarks could uh, create some problems on the fifth day so but again uh, it's not easy it looks like it's uh, a swinging Pakistan's way right now with uh, 146 round in the lead for England and uh, well I can only say that um, 
uh, Alistair Cook really played uh, very well. He, in fact, uh, it was as I said, after a long time, he, he had his moments, but uh, he showed confidence uh, the way he actually played the bowling. He was uh, hitting very well. And the bowling was superb. Mohamed Amr was uh, really, uh, you know, a la wasi makram uh, on his heyday. The way he actually came round the wicket and uh, dismissed Matt Pryor was a splendid delivery. And the ball really, really kissed the edge of the bat. But what was good was the late swing that Mohamed Amr generated and uh, really put uh, Matt Pryor, who was, um, as you know, uh, he did very well in the uh, in the uh, in the first innings too with 84. But uh, here. Matt Pryor was gone, uh, caught Kamran Akmal, and uh, it was a beautiful delivery uh, from, I think it was the ball of the day uh, over there. And other than that, uh, dear cricket fans, uh, I have nothing to share. Uh, it has been a pleasure talking to you. I know that I've been a bitter regular. Please bear with me, dear cricket fans, because as you know, I'm just doing it for passion here. But I, I make it a point to come up with cricket happenings um, as and when it is there. Uh, please bear with me. As I said, I have guests around, and uh, things have not been very regular. But I'm sure I will uh, regularize this uh, sooner rather than later. So, but keep an eye on my cricket happenings every time, dear cricket fans. Uh, this is Ram um, uh, saying good night and uh, signing off for cricket happenings. Thank you.